All right, this is gonna be the test for flexor digitorum longus. So the insertion of flexor digitorum longus is going to be on the distal phalanx of digits two, three, four, and five. And it's gonna cross all joints. So the person's going to be curling their toes or flexing their toes in at distal and proximal interphalangeal as well as metatarsal phalangeal. They're also gonna do some plantar flexion and a little bit of inversion at the end. So again, a slightly complex one for some people to do. So can you curl your toes in for us? Good. And there's all of our actions. Excellent. Let's try that one more time. Curl. Good. All right. For the brake test, similar to halysis, we want to resist on where the muscle inserts, and that's going to be our primary focus of our test. So what I'm going to have him do is bring his ankle up into a little bit of plantar flexion inversion. I'm going to lay, in this case, my thumb across all of those distal joints, and I'm going to say, please don't let me move you and he's gonna to try to curl against my thumb. Three, two, one, and relax, good. And now I'm gonna start him in more of a neutral position and he's gonna curl against my thumb. Curl, curl, curl your toes, good. And then plantar flex and invert, excellent. For the length position for this one, again, I want to lengthen all of the toe joints. So we're going to start by extending him at proximal distal and interphalangeal as well as the metatarsal phalangeal. And then I'm gonna bring his foot into some dorsiflexion and finish with a little bit of eversion at the end. So there's the full length of extensor, sorry, flexor digitorum longus.